This ordinary looking trash can is actually a smart trash can. A sensor inside this bin feeds data to a center that tracks and optimizes waste management across the city. These are allowing us to find out the average fill time and then we can make adjustments based off of the pickup times as needed. This is one of 40 smart trash cans in Colorado Springs, which since 2017 has been implementing different kinds of smart technology hidden in plain sight throughout the city. So as you can see, the ones here have a color that kind of blends in, you know, with the environment. We got an inside look at how Colorado Springs is becoming a smart city. This is 5G Playbook. What you see up there, uh, that green pole over there, is one of the newest uh, small sales that the city has, has uh, enabled uh, for vendors to install. Uh, what these 5G small cells do is enhance the connectivity within the more localized areas in the city. Connectivity is everything. Uh, as we look to become a smart city, you can't be a smart city if you don't have connectivity. It could be everything from your cell phone to a device that's on a street light, basically any type of sensor that's connected to the internet, it has to ride on that backbone of that connectivity. And that's where 5G comes into play. Streetlights was one of our early pilot projects that we implemented. So what we did is we actually implemented streetlight controllers, which is basically just a device that connects to the top of a streetlight uh, fixture. And from that data that's collected, we're able to tell the condition of that streetlight. If a vehicle hits that pole, uh, we would know that. We would also know if the bulb goes out. It's a subtle technology implementation, but as a public agency, um, looking out for the best interest of our taxpayers and making sure that we're efficient in our operations, it definitely helps improve that here in Colorado Springs. This is uh, an example right outside the uh, city administration building, one of the smart bins with, we have deployed. We have a total of 40 uh, within the downtown area and uh, its surroundings. What these do is measure the amount of trash that is collected over time, and they have sensors right underneath here, the, the cap, so that we can monitor that. We have access to this data on uh, some, some web portals. One of the main purposes of this is to be able to optimize eventually uh, the waste management in the city of Colorado Springs. So the multimodal counters is a, a new uh, pilot project that we've implemented. Uh, so this is a sensor that could basically track whether a vehicle, a bicycle, or a pedestrian walks by these sensors. And this one in particular is, is aiming at the, the alley. What we want to do with our economic development department is being able to understand the traffic on, on this street. And this is helping our traffic engineering division in you know, understanding how many vehicles so that they, that they can use that information in, in better planning for traffic and uh, you know, knowing where to, for example, deploy new traffic lights, stop signs, or different types of signage, for example and we're beginning to expand uh, where scooters are throughout our community. Uh, but micromobility wasn't even a, a concept uh, you know, five, 10 years ago. And so that's how technology has helped change uh, through that connectivity. Without that connectivity, you won't be able to enable uh, scooters and micromobility because you have gotta have a cell phone, you gotta have an app. All of that rides on the backbone of this uh, connected infrastructure. One project that we recently implemented is a program called Zone Haven. So this helps us in terms of evacuations, whether the evacuation be wildfire, flooding, any other natural disaster or, or non-natural disaster that occurs in our community, and we have to evacuate a location. Now with Zone Haven, we're able to pinpoint uh, neighborhoods, and there's hundreds of zones that have been developed throughout our community, so we could be more specific on who we evacuate, who's in pre-evacuation, who is safe and clear from danger. Utilizing this for the, the safety and health and, and, um, and benefit of our community, that's, that's why we're doing it. A lot of the biggest challenges that we have as a community is understanding the built environment, the infrastructure that we have and that we maintain as a city. It doesn't always talk back to us. And so by deploying these technologies, it enables us to get data uh, from, and from this infrastructure that's out there and help us make more informed decisions. Technology won't solve all the problems, but the data that we're collecting and the people that are utilizing that data will have an impact 
on improving that situation into the future.